cinema should be a space where experimentation is part and parcel of your growth and of your change, and they're not static environments. Cinema Akil started in 2014 out of a desperate need to bring the cinema that, hap you know, that, that is winning awards globally from the region to our audiences here, to audiences that are their rightful owners, their rightful home base. And there was a gap in exhibition spaces specifically that focused on showcasing these films. In terms of films and filmmaking, that's always been around. That's always been the case. Films from the region, and I think of the region being here in Dubai as the Middle East, North African, South Asian, um, East African market, right? And when you think of that um, catchment area, films have always been produced, made, distributed, showcased, circulated. And I think we're also seeing an abundance now with the rise of the streamers and uh, the rise of productions regionally that are focused, that global streaming platforms are investing in. I think they've always been around. What hasn't changed since the beginning of our journey in 2014 is the presence of these dedicated exhibition spaces. And the proof of that, and the unfortunate proof of that, is the fact that we are still the, the, the first ones and the only ones in the UAE. We're currently not the only ones in the entire Gulf. We were for a very long time, up until last year, when uh, Saudi got its first art house uh, or independent cinema, shall we say, in uh, Hay Jamil in um, Jeddah, which has a very, very specialized you know, line of programming and it's growing and it's changing. But we really haven't seen a major change in terms of screens that are dedicated to uh, art house cinema. Of course, COVID and the pandemic uh, was a major setback in terms of the development of the uh, cinema and exhibition space, um, as well as, of course, the technological shift and intervention and the you know expediting of that uh, shift uh, during during the pandemic uh, through streaming uh, happened. What I will say though is that I think globally, not just regionally, there is a rise and interest and resurgence of interest of, of investment and support of independent community cinemas uh, that multiplexes are not necessarily getting the same benefit of people post covid have gravitated to things that you know they can uh, build a relationship with community centric uh, you know uh, program and outlook and offering is really what will set cinemas apart in the future and you know cinema Aqil is the one that's doing it here in this region we're proud to play that role but i think we're part of a global consortium of cinemas that uh, are really riding that shift and adapting to it and responding to it cinema Aqil is built on foundation the foundation of collaborations partnerships uh, community and it's not just everybody likes to use the word community and we're not just you know trying to open our doors and you know and make this a public facing platform but you know everything from the way that we built the space to the way that we program to the things that actually take place within our walls but also outside of our walls um, you know is built on that belief that we have to work together we have to uh, you know not only work within the cinema sector but also within the larger arts and culture sector within the larger media sector and within also you know the the the, the cinema sector that is uh, you know that is that is the more commercial cinema as well so we're part of a lot of different pockets and that is fundamental to the way that we function and our outlook and i think that's also the future of what cinemas are going to have to be. They are living, breathing spaces that are made to bring dreams together on screen at the, at the very base uh, through cinema, but also cinema houses now have a responsibility to open their doors to do a lot of different things. And this is something that we really believed in. We've hosted everything from, you know, stand-up comedy uh, shows to kids' workshops to um, supper clubs, 
uh, and 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 you know independent uh, music uh, label releases, uh, listening parties, and that's something that we still believe in. We've always believed in because cinema should be a space where experimentation is part and parcel of your growth and of your change, and they're not static environments. So that's something we've been very proud of, especially uh, when it comes to our partnerships and relationships in the community regionally and, and, um, and in the UAE specifically, but also in the larger region. Uh, our bet is on talent from here. Our bet has always been on showing films and work you know, that comes out of here, that is born out of these stories and these experiences. And that applies to everything that we do in our collaborations and our partnerships throughout. I think there's always been a hunger for fresh content. I think that's uh, something that it defines uh, the way that uh, this young, very young, you know, region that we're part of, you know, is relating to the way that you know content or cinema is evolving, and we're seeing a lot of that through its manifestation on social platforms and how social platforms are being used, and how that, you know, in the absence of a larger cinema infrastructure. Uh, you know, is, is, is giving rise to a lot of incredible talent and, you know, storytellers that are using these tools to tell their own stories. I think cinema is, is still a different, uh, you know, level of, um, of storytelling and there's a whole industry that does need support every step of the way. And I think there's still a lot of work to be done in that space. But I think there's always, you know, curiosity, not only for new and fresh content, but also there is an interest and curiosity around discovery. And this is why we dedicate a lot of our programming to the history of cinema and to discovery of cinema that is uh, perhaps never been shown, you know, but has been around for a very long time. Classic films, whether it's films that you would know, for example, we're doing a Martin Scorsese retrospective. Everybody wants to, you know, see these films over and over and over again, and they still influence filmmakers that are just you know making their first short film to influencers to uh, you know artists to musicians and then you have you know our summer of classics program which also focuses a lot on uh, the discovery of classic cinema and repertory cinema but from a broader perspective outside of hollywood and outside of english language uh, cinema so we're doing you know satya jit ray's films we're doing uh, mandabi by osman sembene uh, we're doing films like chris marker's films so those are films that we really you know are um are a place for discovery and i think there is a growing interest in that and having a consistent space that offers that Absolutely. I think there's a responsibility that exhibitors have towards their local and regional stories and their filmmakers in being able to have them be seen in the best way possible, treated and promoted in the best way possible, and given the best time slots and, and opportunities to flourish and to be discovered. And that, unfortunately, is something that we still haven't seen a major shift in. There is some change when it comes to, for example, Emirati cinema. There is definitely a change that is driven by the market when we look at Saudi, because Saudi films are proving to be even more successful than Hollywood in the box office. So cinemas are by default you know, responsive to that demand. But I think there's a balance between uh, showing the films that work, the films that are guaranteed to make you, uh, to make you the you know the big the big numbers at the box office, which is part of the you know part of the the, the the commercial consideration of running a cinema and part of the economic life cycle. But there is also a very high responsibility that should be placed on cinema and exhibitors to not only support because it's not about you know coddling you know it's about really cultivating and really believing that this can create a shift in the kind of stories that we put out in changing demand, in educating, in changing tastes. And that's something that we have been directly involved in. That's a journey that Cinema Aqil has taken from day one. You know, if you asked anybody, you know, back in 2014, whether there is room for independent cinema or cinema that has only been relegated to the film festivals traditionally, you know, people would probably laugh, right? Like it's not something that you expect to have in a city like Dubai where there's, you know, the best of the best of everything and it's all about, you know, uh, consumption and it's about speed and dynamism. And Art House is a, is a space that demands consideration. It demands, you know, intellectual engagement, critical thought. 
And that's the space that we're in. And I believe that we're in a city that has all of that. And I think we should have everything from the multiplexes to the independents to the gallery screenings. And I think that is where cinema flourishes and that's where storytelling flourishes.